folks and welcome to another video. Now today, um, well on this video, it's all about strawberries folks. Um, every year I like to replenish my stocks. I mean I do take runners and that but I still like to get some fresh stock in. And uh, I don't know what had happened but so for some reason I'd, I'd, I'd um, lost all my El Santas. Now I think what's happened is it's the El Santas that have um, the labels have basically faded or broken, gone brittle. Can you see me? Yeah. Um, and so they've just gone out, gone down as miscellaneous, and, and I like to know what the strawberries what I'm, what I've got, just to see how that things go. Uh, sorry, <laughs> got the camera too low, folks. Right. So that's. That's what a, a um, bare-rooted strawberry plant looks like. I'm hoping you can see that all right. There you are. And um, so basically these have been kept in a fridge or freezer. I think it's a fridge during the winter. And as soon as they come out, uh, they detect a change in temperature and they start shooting, which is what you see there. This part is the crown here that must be kept above ground level otherwise they'll rot. So what I'm basically doing now is I'm planting these into these into the tunnel here. Well actually the, this this um, this one here was actually the polyampha nursery for the winter. Um, uh, it was we had nowhere to put them outside so basically uh, they were put in here purely so I didn't lose them. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'm hoping you can see me okay. Um, these, these beds, I've put 12 plants in. So what I'm going to do, I've got the trowel, I'm going to stick it in and, and just make a little hole. And we're, we're, we're just marking out at the minute so I can see where they're going to go. Yeah, that's right. That's about right. Uh, all I'm doing is moving the soil and just do, creating a little hole. Obviously, it really depends on uh, what your um, soil's like. Mine is very loose, so I can do this. If I was doing this in pots, folks, then I'd spend, I'd spread the roots out, but I don't need to do that in a bed.
And that's the bed done, folks. We've got uh, 24 what I've done so far. I'm just trying to count, see how many I've got left here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we've still got another packet there. Um, so we'll get basically 36 plants in this tunnel. Plus the ones what I, my own runners and that what I put down there from last year. Um, so there'll be 48 plus the plants I've got in pots, probably about 65 strawberry plants in here. These what are going in, I've bought them from a different supplier than what I normally do. I'm hoping that these are going to be like previous years. I don't take the the, um, the flowers off the first year, I let them carry on. And uh, if all goes to plan, I should get um, 12 or 15 strawberries off each of these this year. But it's not going to be as early as I expected, because these have come later. I was hoping for strawberries mid-April, there's no chance of that. But we might get them still in May, at several weeks before we would outside. We'll see. We'll have to see how that goes. Okay, I'm going to switch off now, and uh, for this video, I'm going to be doing another one shortly. Okay folks, I've now potted up the 48 strawberry plants. There was actually a few more, I've got about 52 plants I think in all. Um, so they are, so I've got 12 of these in each of these raised beds so we've got about uh, say about 48 in here in the beds and then we've got the ones over here right um yep uh, so that's the strawberry update oh no one other thing what I've done I've actually put the remainders in the bed in here in the netted enclosure Obviously, they've all been labelled up. Got a label in. Um, I'm going to actually write on these um, raised beds as well. I think, or I'm going to I'm going to make sure the labelling's done properly this year. It doesn't fade. <laughs> 